Hi guys, welcome to the second part of my sunset and video series. This is the other side. This is going to be going uh, in November, so I decided to cover this one as well. It's the Bad Juju mission. So there is an achievement for doing this flawless, so I've decided to do a full run of it. It's flawless. It's not too difficult. Uh, I'm running Devour, uh, so that's Bottom Tree uh, Voidwalker. Whispering Slab is my primary, Yotin is my energy, and Fallen Guillotine as my heavy. I've got full taken armaments on, so that's obviously Invigoration, Repurpose, and Barrier, and Armaments. As you can see there, I propped it by getting a, a melee kill. And then all grenade kills will give me uh, heavy armor because I've got uh, heavy ammo because I've got armaments on, but it'll also keep Devour propped. For anybody who doesn't know, the way Devour works is, when you get a kill, so, uh, eat or, or swallow your grenade, consume your grenade, you will get uh, the Devour perk. You can see it left there above Taken Resistance, because I've got Taken Barrier on. I've got 10 seconds to get another kill. Upon getting a kill, I will get my full health back, and every 4 or 5 kills gets me my grenade back should I need it. So, there are multiple ways to proc Devour. And it allows you to play aggressively. The thing about playing aggressively, I don't really play aggressively too often. I'm much more, much more refined. I am much more of a strategic player. But Devourer just allows you to be that little bit more crazy with your play. So I'm really going to be relying here uh, for most of my ad clearing capabilities on the sword. So I'm waiting for this. Like so these guys, they, they can be pain in the backside for swords. So as you can see, I waited for him to fully fully spawn up, give him a chance to, to, to realize that he had a free hit on me and then jumped over him because he's that clever. He never turned. Kept Devour going the whole way. Uh, the, the only kind of part where, where, where I'm not saying you've got to be careful because it's kind of an easy mission. Uh, the only part you've got to really kind of take your be be a little bit more. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say careful, as the garden with the blights. You just have to be a, just a touch more careful. Getting pushed here by these shadow thrall, but you'll see, it's the same as I done a solo. Uh, done my flawless prophecy for the second time. I done it on console. The video will be up later. Things don't always go according to plan. That's when stuff like Devourer and, and and the Taken mods, that's where they earn the money. So once you take out all these ads, it's just going to be you and the wizard left. Now, Yotun. The Yotun's here for a, a, a few reasons. Uh, obviously, it will take out things from range. Its, it's, it's perks are built for taking out... Uh, Things with shields, obviously shield disorient, it, it stuns enemies. It's a, I know it's not great in Crucible, I know it's cheap in Crucible, but there's no denying that the Yotun is a very, very, very strong PvE weapon. So, waiting for these ads to spawn up, I'll put down a rift. Because I've got reinvigoration, uh, if I take a shield out, then I'm going to get my, my, uh, my grenade back and... S same if you've got both of them on i believe if you take down an elite you'll get your if you've got taken invigoration and taken repurposing so you'll see here that's not a taken enemy though if that was a taken enemy i should have got my my uh rift and, and all that stuff back i've nearly got my grenade so i'm i'm just gonna just hang back here and just you'll see my health going back up because well it will go back up. Now I got my grenade. Now he's in trouble. So you can see there. I got I you know as as soon as you take down, I've got taken resistance on now. That's that's worth mentioning. I had a conversation on stream last night about taken and hive resistance. Now somebody told me that taken and hive barrier, if they're coupled, you don't get diminishing returns. I can't confirm that, but it's worthwhile checking that out for yourselves. I'm I'm definitely going to check it out. But definitely taking taking barrier stacks. Now I'm not sure I stacked it. So if if you extra protection, maybe if you don't think after watching this there's enough uh, there's enough need for 
something like take and repurpose him because you're gonna get your grenade back. Uh, you're gonna get your grenade back because of devour. Because every five kills, it gives you a grenade back. Then put an extra taken barrier on, which means you could you maybe be able to have three taken barrier on. I think, and as well, if you're gonna be over cautious with it, or if you're really gonna put a bit, you know, if you're really gonna go the full hog and set yourself up, you know, this is technically on the Leviathan, so Leviathan mods might work as well. Something worth testing. Now, what I'm doing here, this is the kind of the only part. I'm not saying it's difficult, but within this this activity, this this one can 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 be a bit of a bit of a pain in the backside. So what I'm doing is I'm get proc, making sure I've got devour, making sure I've got a grenade, and then when I'm going to take the blights out, I'm just putting the grenade on top of the blight. That weakens the blight, but it also means if any dogs come because of oppressive darkness. I'm going to kill them and weaken the blight. Once you take down, I think it's two blights, you get these invisible minotaurs. That's the first extra wave of ads. And then once you take all the blights, you're going to get the wizards and you're going to get a big boss. Nothing that we can't handle relatively easily. So, again, just, you know, you can be a bit, like I said already, you can be a little bit more mindless, uh... I've kept the vowel going the whole time. These ads spawned up, which was perfect. Using the yule tent to take the blight down. The grenade will take the ads down. You see there from the heavy ammo I got. Uh, I also got heavy ammo from those kills. So we've got another blight here. We've still got grenades. Still got good good amount of devour. So the only tactic you really need to have here, or, or the thing you need to do, is keep your eye on your devour timer. You know? Because... If you're running out and there's loads of ads but you can't get to them, you're going to have to swallow your grenade. You don't want to throw your grenade and then not have devour. So, there's the ogre. We'll just throw one over at him and then we're just going to back away. And the reason I'm saying that, you'll see here. Once I break this, one of these wizard shields, I get my grenade straight away. That's, that's the beauty of having repurposing. The Jotun is a really, really, as I've already said, it's a really strong weapon. It's one of my favourites. I kind of get laughed at sometimes when I say that the Jotun, and I stand by it, the Jotun is Destiny 2's Galahom. Because of its multi-purpose, it's not... The Galahom wasn't even the strongest rocket launcher in Destiny. It's just... It's it's multi-purpose... Uh, uh, the way you could apply it to so many different things made it so strong... And yeah, it was a strong rocket launcher, but you couldn't take any crucible and do, you know, it, it, you'd always take truth into crucible. You know, it was really good for what it done. The Yotun's really good for loads of things. You should give it, a, if you're not using the Yotun at all, you should give it a little run out. And, and you'll, be, you'll be surprised how good it is. Boss damage, ad clearance, crucible, gambit. I mean, what isn't it good in? You know, I know it's cheap. Cheap kills in Crucible, cheap invader kills, uh, but it has such a good weapon. So, to add a little bit of context to what's happening on the screen right now, uh, I'm not sure what the technical term for this is, but I'm pretty sure most people would say I'm lost. <laughs> Which is true, I always get lost in here. So, once we get out of here, and and, and spoiler alert, it's not, it's not rocks you jump on, it's one of the openings in the actual leviathan with the leviathan kind of thing it's not down here because i'm an idiot this is the gardens in the leviathan so i think it's over in my right yeah here it is right down here when we get through here because i wasn't lost i was just showing you guys the what what great aesthetic this area is obviously once we get over to this area over here, which mo most people have raided and most people have done, you don't even have to have raided, you'll have come into this area at some point. This is the Leviathan. This is part of the Leviathan raid. Uh, this is where we're going to do our last two parts. So what I'm going to do, you can see that rock up there, I take these snipers from range, make sure I'm not taking any fire, because once I take any long range adds, then I can be my usual aggressive self with devour and just you know so the trick to you as i've already said but just this this will show it even better the trick to devour is 
make sure you can get another kill. You know? Make sure. So what I tried to do there, I knew I was going to throw my grenade. I just had a look around to see uh, what, what ads were around. So I could throw my grenade and keep getting my heavy. And still keep proccing Devour. So I'm going to throw a grenade because I know I've got another ad. And then we just kill this boss. Now there's more ads up top. That was a wizard I think that was coming up behind us. I think, I think, I don't do it in this video, but I think it's just come back to me. I'm pretty sure if you jump, that there's parts where you can get up high. If you do, have got Pai Shriekas come in. So it's worth staying on the floor here. You know, and as I say, Sword is just allows you to do that. If you get in any trouble in this next part, when all the ads come, the final part of the boss, you'll see I'm going to look for the boss and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump, I'm going to jump over someone, I'm going to look for the boss. This is a bit of a safe zone. You can go all the way along. Where I am now, you can just keep backing up and backing up. And you can just use the sword. As long as you've got Devour. You know, that big kind of Dark Blade-esque attack from the exotic sword from D1. That just clears out so much. And we kept with Devour going. And I'm still, I've still got 60 ammo. So now I'm looking for the boss. When the boss comes in... If you've got Devour, right, so I'm going to throw my my super, I got Devour, because super kills give you Devour. If you disengage from the boss and go after the ads, you can keep fighting the boss, because he, basically they will keep, keep giving you Devour. Now as you can see, I threw my grenade, kept my Devour going, but so I could get more ammo. I didn't really have to do that. I've thrown my grenade again. But it never gave me devour. So I come down. You know. Just make sure you keep. It doesn't matter what ads are there. As long as the ads. Whatever ads you're fighting can't one hit you. Devour will always save you. And you see there. Piece of cake. It, it really is. Devour and the sword at this boss section. So the plan is, devouring the sword at the boss section will keep you alive. Just know when to engage and how to engage. Keep an eye on your timer. Up till then, any ranged enemies, take them out with the bow, shriekers, the Yolton. And it should be a walk in the park for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. The next video up on the channel after this is going to be my solo prophecy dungeon that I've done live on stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be more in this series, but until the next video... Take it easy and thanks for watching.